Hey, what's up? Matt Russell here with another Photoshop tutorial. Today, I just wanna teach you how to add yourself into another picture and make it look right. So many times I see people just dropping themselves in and like cut around and the colors off, the tones off. Uh, it just looks weird and you could just, everyone knows it. Like you put up on Facebook yourself next to like Brad Pitt and it just looks off. Well, I wanna teach you how to add yourself in uh, specifically on a black and white photo today and we'll do a color photo next time. All right, so check it out. I have a photo of a guy climbing up a rock and I have a city. So I wanna add this guy into the city and obviously it looks off, okay? You can't just cut around this guy and add him in. It's gonna look good, not gonna happen. So first off, let's go in here and add a mask and I'm gonna go ahead and just do the cheap way and magic wand out the background. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't do this, but just for time's sake, bear with me. So the cheater way is get the magic wand right here I'm gonna leave it on about tolerance 30 and just click with continuous turned off, then grab the brush tool and just start brushing in this area like magic. <laughs> Take the magic wand tool down here, do the same thing again, magic wand out. Uh, we'll have to come back for some touch-ups in a second. But let's see where we're at. Uh, looking pretty good. Let's zoom in, need to put on the sharp edge, magic on this out, you're done, get out of here. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Just kind of like the extra debris that magic wand doesn't take care of. I should call it mediocre wand, just kidding. <laughs> All right, so something if you're using a magic wand or you're cutting away, something to keep in mind is don't leave behind some of the residue border that's gonna cause it to just look weird. So see how there's kind of like this edge right here um, and guarantee that it'll be on his pants too. Yep, surprise, surprise. Purple on one side and yellow on the other. Okay, sure. So let's see, yep, around his backpack, uh, pretty much all the way around. I could go through and kind of use a, you know, use a brush and mask around it. But again, we're gonna use the cheater way today. Let's so check this out. Hold down control and click on the mask. Then, there's a, here's the important part, control shift I to invert it. Then go up to select, modify, contract, and let's go ahead and put this on two. This should do it. I did it the wrong way, my bad. Hold on, select, modify, expand, two, enter, bam. See how the line just moved over to the left? And then let's zoom out. And this is my favorite part, cheat away. Brush over it again, zoom back in, deselect. Hey, those lines are gone, they're out of there. See all the straps? Still kind of cheater and it's a little, gonna be a little jagged. It's not perfect. If you really wanna get in there, use the pin tool or just keep edging away with the brush on the mask tool. So that's out of there. First part after cutting out yourself or someone else to put in the image is you wanna position it so it looks right. Cause if you put it kind of weird, like you have Brad Pitt in there and he's seven feet tall compared to you, no, it doesn't look right. So you gotta um, adjust the size, you gotta move it around, you gotta position it. So with this image, you know, I really, oh, it looks like I missed something right over there, but I really like it to be in this corner because it kind of adds to the bridge, like in your mind, subconsciously, that bridge is connected to land. And so this guy is gonna be standing on land. So it kind of lines up. If you had just an open ocean with no bridge and you're just standing on a rock, subconsciously you're like, this doesn't look right. But with this, it does. So I kind of like him right there. That looks pretty good because it kind of looks like it's coming over here. There's gonna be a mountain or something. Uh, delete off that. <laughs> Take care of that 
right now. All right, let's take care of the color on our hiker and rock. So let's go to hue saturation. There's a few different ways to do it, but today I'm gonna give this technique. Hue saturation, and there's a toggle right here to make it so you're just editing this guy. It's called the clipping mask. Go ahead and click that. And let's knock off the saturation because we're obviously working on a black and white photo. And did you notice it? He looks black and white, but the image looks blue. So we got to match that a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and click colorize, bring the saturation down a little bit. So this looks blue. So let's move this to maybe the blue area. Already, it's looking better. Bring the saturation. I'm going to kind of mess around, see if I can get it pretty close. You just need a close. It doesn't have to be perfect because we have a couple more steps we're going to be working on. And then I'm going to zoom in. What's something else that you notice here? I'm kind of noticing there's a lot of dust, scratches, uh, noise on this side, but on our hiker, it's very crisp. So, what I want to do is click our hiker and let's add some noise. Try to match it up a little bit. Filter, noise, add noise. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to move it a little bit off here. Let me keep it at 14 right about now. You can mess around with gaussian, uh, uniform, monochromatic. Um, but for this image in particular, I think this looks pretty good. Zoom out. See this far out, you, you can't notice it, but just like in your mind's eye, it'll sense it. If, if that's crisp and everything else is blurry, you're gonna notice something's wrong. So that's looking pretty good. You got the pixelation going. Okay, last step. Let's go ahead and add a curves layer. Oops, let's bring that above. No. Drag it up. Curves. Get out of here. Clippy mask. And let's go ahead and br click on or RGB, click on blue. Let's see if we can maybe change something. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so good. A little bit of blue and uh, like that sepia feel. Cool, click off of that. Something I'm noticing is the background looks a little bit lighter and our hiker looks a little bit darker. So double click this open again and maybe let's change the brightness up just a hair. So it kind of matches a little bit better. All right, so I'm, I'm trying to match these shadows with the darkest part of this image, which is right over here. And that's, that's looking pretty close. All right. Well, that's the image. I have the before and the after. Hey, thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, put it down below. I would love to respond. Also, please like the video, please subscribe. And I, I kind of feel like I wanna throw this out here. If you have an image that maybe you need some help on or you want me to Photoshop or you want me to do something with or tweak with, put it, attach it in the, uh, in the comments below. You can use an image uploader and then just copy the link over. And I love to make a video just on an image for you. Have a great day and I'll see you later.